nine lives saved. All right, guys. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty proud of him. Yeah, awesome. bitching, dude. Pretty cool. That's why I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Ten seconds. Where at least I know I'm free. Ten seconds, five, damn. That's a five. two minute delay, dude. Shit. Yeah, it's a massive delay. Wow, when did it become such a massive delay? Because of all this hate speech that we're spewing. I don't know. Well, you got to go through the yours censors. Is, well, yours is saying you have like a minute. I have like two seconds. See, mine's all fucky. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Emergency Exit. Android. We're getting ready to get started here. We got a special guest in the hizzy for shizzy. Mine is he. I like it. Well. <laughs> Are we doing the thing on there? Yeah. Coming up right now. Right now. Right now. All right, yeah, yeah. shall we get started here? And when we post up videos to YouTube, let's cut all the all the all the standbys off. All right, just get right to the nitty, right to the nitty gritty. That's right. That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, let's get started. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I like it. Technically, I, I took you. That's true. Yeah. Check, check, check. Watch that. Let me know what you think. Uh, you are no, 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 no. Our contestant oh, is shit. Carlos. His friends call All him that Los. fucking shit we were supposed to cut for. Yeah, yeah, we can do it after. I, I do, do after tend show. to explode right. only one by myself. I just want to cut the big deal. I touched a man's trash can. Bro. Right now, I'm committing a schedule one the, the white felony. Man. Allegedly, <laughs> it's bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, he's the mole, dude. Where's our he's got the mole in the face it's of coming. his cock, dude. He's fucking hung like, like a horse. Like a horse. Mom, you are a horrible human being. She's being you know what? Great. Why don't you die from breast cancer or something? <gasps> wow. No, you take wow. that back. That's you take that back. It's, hey, I'm so and so, so and so, blah blah blah. I'm also a warm. That's right. <laughs> but in the event of an emergency. Your regular exit might not be the quickest. Or what about me? There's an emergency exit is painted on. There's no way out. There's no way out. We do, we do, we do. That's right. Now is the time to open your mind. In our search for the unknown, who knows what we will find? This is Emergency Exit. This is episode 85, and today is August 6, 2018. We are broadcasting to you again from our floating tin can. For a book. <laughs> Beautiful. That's right. I know. I'm your host, Los. With me, as always, well, I'm your host, as Los. Usual. Follow me on Twitter at That's Right Los. I, I forgot I changed it. Joining me, as always, is at Rider Guitar, Mr. Nick, the Passion. Ryder, hello, Nick hello. is back. Yeah. yeah Streaming us live to the universe and working so hard for that money. Follow him on Twitter at EMEX Pod. Brandon, the hard hat Mitchell. That's right. Oh, you get a lot. Why does he get more applause? What the sh it's, it's sensitive. I mean, he's literally here. Joining us oh, yeah. in the studio today <laughs> That's is, That's uh, you, I guess you can call you uh, our number one fan. Sure. Listener. You sure could. Contributor. I try. And uh, all around good person. Well, thanks. Coach is in the audience with hey. us today. Not in the audience, in the she's audience. co-hosting with us. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, it's together. slightly audience-like. On today's show, the passion breaks down the recycling of the earth. Save your aluminum That's cans right. for another day. This isn't about that at all. Nope. However, this tin can is headed for space to fight some evil space aliens. Confused? Don't trip, dog. The passion's got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> this week, we've got another episode of Nick Splain's Colts. Heaven's That's right. Gate. Later, we're going to talk be a about... colon there, like, you know, in movie titles. Yeah. It's a Colts. Right Colts. Colon. Well, is colon. it a colon? Heaven's Gate. So, not that, not, not that, that kind colon. of colon. Oh. Take it easy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's like we have Sarah here. You can here. call it Uranus. <laughs> no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Hey, where'd she come from? Uh, anyways, uh, later, we're going to talk about Alex Jones, hate speech, and double standards when we give you the news. But first, let's do a Brew World Order. <laughs> It's the blue world. Such a juicy. What?
what do we have today, mm, you guys? Geez. We have Fanny Pack by Circle Brewery. So pretty. Who wants to talk about this here? Who's got the description uh, and who wants to read it? I've got it well, right you know, seeing that, well, seeing that Hard coach hat. brought it, right? Hard hat's yeah. got it. Uh, it's not true. It's on the can right here. I can do it too. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Why don't you read us uh, what you brought us today? So, so Hard Hat asked me, hey, hey, coach, can you bring me a blonde? And I did. Goddamn right. Uh, but uh, I will say, not the blonde I was talking about, but I will accept I it. I freaking try, all right? You have that's all I ask. Large that's requests all I ask. over there. That's all I, I ask. Large I mean, a, no, not even a large one. I mean, no. a brunette would be nice. A redhead, if, if I'm I don't think generous. that's the large she was talking about. I mean, but those are optional. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, this is a this is a Circle Brewery, which is right here in Austin. You're it welcome. is here in Austin. It is here in Austin. Uh, this is the Fanny Pack Kolsch, so it's a blonde, and it's mm -hmm. uh, described as bad, refreshing melon. Did you Did you guys know? Bad, that? refreshing melon. Yeah. So the hmm. Fanny Pack Kolsch rad, is a it says. crisp. It says rad. No, refreshing. I know it says rad, but it oh, I thought I heard you say bad. I did. I heard bad. Oh, okay. You did. Uh, it's a German summer beer with asshole. uncompromising style what it says right on compromising all right let's take a dr is that all there's in let's take a drink open it up i've uh, as you can see it's in my cup as you can see as you can no doubt see cheers, cheers. all beers. right we're gonna drink and we're gonna rate coach sure. you're gonna go first yeah. all right what do you think about this beer have you had it before no i haven't had this one before. neither have i um it's definitely light it's a shower beer <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely could be used in shower. <laughs> not bad. So, if you want to, sorry, sorry hard. We're not gonna get into that. Yeah, we're not gonna get into it. No, I like it. It's um, I've been drinking <laughs> more pale ales lately, so this is a little different for me. But I like it. Um, what do you rate it? If I'm gonna rate it, I'll I'll three point eight. All right, three point eight. Not bad. What about you, Nick? Um, he's gonna take another sip. He, he drinks weird. Mm -hmm. It's it a bit funky. It. It's got, it's got like a, a funk to it, it's right? Got it's got a melony. It's got a bit of a funk to it. That's, That's a weird it fruit. Probably like the melon kind of. I think they needed. The they do need to make it say bad melon. Yeah. <laughs> it does taste like a bad melon, doesn't yeah, it? Like, like it just oh. just kind of expired earlier that day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you like might might cutoff. still be okay, but there's a bit of skank in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so I will I give hate it. When they can of skank. Yeah, I'll give it a. I'm going two point seven. Still, oh still man. over half. Oh, oh shit! What Sorry. What are you doing? Anyway. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Brandon? Uh, man, like we were talking, it's it's got a little bit of funk, like on the back end, that I'm not digging. I guess that's that weird that, melon, yeah. that backside funk. Yeah, I, I got to give it like a, I'm gonna say like a two eight. A two not, point not eight. Not too impressed with it. Yeah. Yeah, it. Doesn't sound like it. All right. So, well, that being said, uh, I don't like this beer too much either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, total fail. Hey, that's all right. That's it what it this won't is all go about. to waste. It's not as bad as the beer that that's you brought right. last oh. time. No, no, no I did. No. That oh, was you on brought me. <laughs> that was on Nick. I brought you two really good beers that time. Maybe it's not like ice I, cold either. I the yeah, old that might it, that zero. might hurt it a bit too. I think this is one you need. Same to Same thing that hurt the 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 burrito <laughs> as well. You think it would lessen that uh, that funk? I think it might. That bad melon. Um. So that being said, uh, I'm gonna skank melon. I believe is what we're skank skank melon. I'm gonna give this a fucking it's difficult solid two. Damn. Solid two. That's bad. But wow. I think it can go up to a 3.5 with it being ice cold. All right. All right. That that's being fair. said, new. that's the new Brew World Order. This one you chug it quick and you <sighs> let it go. It's it's the <laughs> also, uh, all of our lovely listeners who happen to be employed by the Circle Brewery, that says nothing to do with your. <laughs> Brewing company. <laughs> I'm sure that you have many, many fine, delicious beers. Just this one in particular. Sorry about that, circle. Not on my alley. I so don't like judge the whole brewery. I still like blood Based and honey. Based on sure. one brew. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do they do blood and honey? That's them. That's yeah, that one is fucking delicious. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. What's that's that that's Revolver. Sorry. Uh, oh, I almost right. brought They make revolver. blur. They make. Uh, I don't know if I've had blur. The, the wheat beer blur. Huh. Okay. You'd um, like their pilsner. Probably. Yeah, we'd like anything. Why not? All right. So this week we are. Doing Nick explains, but we call it Nick explains, and Thanks we've been for doing. Thanks for breaking that down. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if anyone that knew that. That's I what it actually broke that. down Shut as. Up. <laughs> See, I'm helping everybody out. So this is sort of like an in the mystic sort of thing, but also Nick explains. So, so you just play them both at the same time? Uh, no, oh. I'm gonna do. <laughs> so why don't you guys uh, take a seat? We're gonna talk about some crazy, weird, wacky, 
stuff on this show today. You guys ready? You ready? You ready? Nick explains. <laughs> That is a pretty fucking thing. I'm going to leave it over to Nick Ryder. This is your show, bro. Well, the name Christ might be a little confusing, or the name Jesus, because the name Jesus, of course, of course, was the name given to the body that that mind that was indeed from the kingdom of heaven came, and that mind was here 2,000 years ago, and that mind came for the express purpose of teaching humans how they could be saved, how they would not be plowed under at the end of the age. Well, we're at the end of the age. So the one or the mind that was in Jesus, what? (laughs) That mind is in me? You'll have to decide that for yourself. I must admit that I am here again, that I'm here saying exactly the same thing that I said then trying to say it in today's language, trying to hope that for your sakes you can see what we have to offer you, for our Father offers you life. Well, the so, name Christ... So this, this gentleman here claiming to be the reincarnation of Jesus Christ... That's Jesus? That's not... Je- is really? at, he claims to be... He t- you Everybody were talking over, Jesus but he what? said, this name, order. Jesus... What? It's me? Uh, like, he actually claims to be the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Wow, okay. Sweet. Um, his real name is Marshall Applewhite. Applewhite. Also oh. known as Doe, Bo, Tiddly, Ninjen, and Guinea. Oh, I thought that was what all going to be one? one name. No. <laughs> Tiddly. Tiddly. I'm Tiddly. so immature. Uh, like Tiddlywinks from... Isn't Tiddlywinks the yep. gerbil that runs up the dude's asshole in South Park? Oh, I thought you were talking about the game. That's Lemmy yes. Winks. Lemmy Winks. Tiddlywinks is the game, damn it. Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks. That makes this a lot Find less exciting. Out of the game, man. <laughs> all right, so. Lemmy Winks. Uh, Applewhite, on top of all those other names, also holds the title of co founder, along with Bonnie Nettles, of the Heaven's Gate Cult, uh, which is a UFO religious millenarian cult. And a lot of you are like, what the fuck is millenarian? Mm-hmm. That just millenarian. is, it's a group that believes in a great change or a turnover. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A massive uh, metamorphosis, if you will. I'm not sure how I feel about you keep looking at me like I'm not going to quite a get that. Great change. <laughs> it, means, it means it's going to be different <laughs> drastically soon. Oh, okay, thank you. Wait, what do you mean by drastic? I, and uh, the I reason I'm looking at you is because they're based the w- in San Diego. San Diego, yes. Hey, I don't live there anymore, so I, but, eat but it. But up until recently... San Diego, what is, isn't that like French for like Wales vagina? Uh, German. German, and oh, actually German. I found out that's all not true. What? I know. Ron Burgundy was wrong. I know. <laughs> more like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> all right, teach me some oh, more Jesus. about these people. Okay. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? I was, Tommy. <laughs> so on March 26, 1997, police discovered the bodies of 39 people in a rented mansion in the Rancho Santa Fe area of San Diego. Ooh, that's a nice oh area. Wow. Yeah, that's fancy, fancy area. Fancy area. It, it was seven thousand dollars a month Ooh. for this fucking place. It makes sense. Uh, the bodies were all lying neatly in bunks and cots. Their faces and torsos were covered in purple cloth. They were wearing identical black shirts and sweatpants, brand new Nike Decades shoes, which have sis- since obviously been discontinued since they didn't want that uh, connection anymore. <laughs> But just do it. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> you just do it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, boy. Um, oh, shit. So they don't sell them anymore. Now they're a collector's item. Of <laughs> are, are those the pictures that we're looking at right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a pair of those shoes, not the specific Wait. ones worn on the dead bodies, but, you know, that style well, of how? shoe has okay. been sold online for over six grand for a pair of those things. Looking at this picture, my question is, is was there somebody else there that covered them? Yes. We th- okay. We will, we will get Sorry, to that. Sorry. That was this just is, really This is weird. just an intro. I apologize. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, they all had an arm patch saying Heaven's Gate Away Team, which is one of the many Star Trek references this cult had. They loved their <laughs> sci-fi pop culture. Oh, really? Sounds like and cool they, guys. they each had Did exactly... they all wear red shirts? No, all black. Yeah, they're like... They're oh. like Did you uh, miss that part where I said identical Star black Trek, shirts? Star Trek, anybody wearing a red shirt? Guys. I know, they had to die. That's right. They I dress mean. like... Uh, like 
Italian mobsters a bit. Like uh, no, because I actually had shirts on, not just the undershirt to show off all their bling and chest hair. <laughs> all right. I'm derailing. That's uh, what they wore underneath. Anyway, Explain and they all had exactly $5.75 in the their fair? pockets. Is that the fair? Oh, I guess we'll learn. See, I wondered. I thought that what it was is... going to be, you know, like the coins that you use to pay the, the ferry, mm-hmm. the Sphinx. boatsman across. No, you pay the, the boatman on the river sticks. That's sticks. Wow. Um, anyway, no. The five dollars they always carry. They had a five dollar bill that was to cover any vagrancy fines that they would get while they're out and about looking for jobs or begging. Wow. And the three quarters were uh, in case they needed to make a phone call. So they always, <laughs> always had a five dollar bill and three quarters on them. Wait. So you had people used to have to pay to, to yeah. call somebody. Use the There's phone. a thing yeah. you used to walk into it. Uh-huh. It, it was like a glass thing, and it had some. It had some metal, and you could close. There was like a door. Oh yeah, a phone booth. Yeah, but yeah. they they time traveled. Wait, wait, them, right, oh, right, oh, right. A right. phone booth. So it was like this, but and it was connected was like to the book? wall, and there was like a cord, and then so there was like a wall. Wait, so where would you plug your phone in in this place? <laughs> <laughs> it was already plugged. It was in. already plugged. You, in. you had to pre-plugged. use a communal phone. Ugh. Gross. Wow. <laughs> People did that? Yeah, I know, right? It's fucking gross. All Babies. right, so so let's go back to the very beginning of all of this and see what made Marshall Applewhite lose his goddamn mind, ultimately ending the lives of himself and 38 other people. Whoa. Whoa, wait. Mercy so was me. it, wait, him and 38, so it's 39 people? 39 total, Jeez. correct. Jeez, okay. All right. Boom. Uh, Marshall Herf Applewhite Jr., correct. His middle name is Herf. Herf. <laughs> Uh, was born May 17th in 1931 in Spur, Texas. Yeehaw. Hey, man, uh, that's where I'm from. Texan too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He served in the Army, <laughs> attended multiple universities, <laughs> eventually graduating from Austin College, and got a job teaching music at the University of, Al- University of Alabama. This is sounding a lot Wait, like you. did you say he graduated Austin? Austin w- College, yeah. Oh, that's not, uh, not UT. UT. Okay, no. sorry. Uh, after a while at the University of Alabama, he eventually returned to Texas and served as the chair of the music department at the University of St. Thomas in Houston. Houston. Hey! You were just following this guy around. You know, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, he left the uh, University of St. Thomas in 1970, citing emotional turmoil, which actually meant he had an affair with one of his male students. <laughs> Whoa. Which is weird because he, he was oh. married and does have a kid. Wait a minute. This guy's a queer? He's a lot of things from what I've, <laughs> yeah. I've heard. I don't like him. Um, so, yeah. He, he had an <laughs> affair with a male home. student, and then <laughs> instead of getting fired, he left under emotional turmoil. And, and then after that, his father died, causing him to have severe depression. Uh, in 1972, when he was in a psychiatric hospital, he came across Bonnie Nettles, mm. also known as T. Peep Wink. Pig, poop, Shelly West, and Heaven's Goat. Like greatest of all time. Really gets my head. Heaven's Goat. Instead of Heaven's Gate, Heaven's Heaven's Goat. goat. Oh my God, the fucking wit. (laughs) So you could call it that. (laughs) But pig and poop. That's amazing. Uh, So she was a nurse there at the psychiatric hospital that he ended up in, and they found out they had a shared interest in mysticism. And uh, she's pretty. They concluded logically that they were divine messengers. Wow. And it was up to them to spread the word. How convenient they met yeah. each other when they're both So, messiahs. you know, once he got out of the, the psychiatric hospital, they had a little bookstore for a while and a teaching center. And then um, in 1973, Bonnie divorced her husband at the time, and they went out on the road sharing their views and telling everybody about their grand ideas. And they got one convert the whole time. Got one <laughs> follower. Yes. However, in 1975, Bodo Boom. Oh, was arrested Bodo. for failing to return a rental car. <laughs> Legit. Big, big fucking crime boss here. Uh, <laughs> he was breaking the law. He didn't breaking even pay for law. insurance either. Fucking, you don't get that car back. Enterprise going to get Wait, wait, but what, no. What was the, the gas tank level at? Oh, say that again. (laughs) Motherfucker brought it three quarters full? Son of a bitch! Um, So he got six months in jail. Wow. There's his mugshot right there. Six fucking months for not returning a rental car. Wow. That's insane. Well, you know, back in 74, man, those are uh, are tough times. Uh, Yeah, that's true. You don't fuck around. Um, So he used used this time in the slammer to uh, further develop his theology Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, put, mm -hmm. put more weight behind their ideas. So once released... He and uh, Bonnie started traveling up and down the West Coast, actually gaining a lot more followers, renewing their ideas. They had a full of religion now. Um, So old Tiddly and Pig Poop told followers that they would be visited by extraterrestrials 
ETs? Who would provide new bodies. Because this body that we're using is, uh, is, is just a vessel yes, for the soul. Of course, yes. And uh, so as you ascend to the spaceship, your bodies would be transformed into your, your sort of like in Dragon Ball Z, how they keep ascending to the next level. I don't know that. Sure. Oh, well, wow. That's a I'm perfect a analogy. Fan. I don't like balls. Um, so you get up to the spaceship. <laughs> I lied. And bodies would be transformed, <laughs> but uh, then they change their stories to say not so much your body's going to be transformed. You're just getting a new one because these bodies are just containers. Are they oranges? So you're being, your, your soul is like the like the fucking crab. You have to find a new, a new shell, crab. yeah. Right, essentially, a crab finds a new shell. Just saying. Okay. He did not like that. <laughs> <Edit> <laughs> <it>. Point. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> So they used ideas and language from a Christian eschatology, which uh, I knew someone was going to be confused by this. So that means last things. Thanks for looking or, at me again. Or end of the world. Uh, it's a Christian ideology dealing basically the only in the end times, the end of days, Re- yeah. Re- revelation, and yeah. the kingdom of God specifically. So they were about Christian eschatology, the New Age movement, and, of course, science fiction, popular culture. So what I'm gathering so far is it's a mixture of science fiction, Christianity, and then whatever hoopla he happened to be on. What number are you on? Oh, no, we uh, should be on five at this point. Sorry. Okay, good. Go ahead. Um, so anyway, yeah, and uh, so they got to the point cause as they further renewed their ideas that the two of them claimed that they were the the two, the two talked about in Revelations, the, the two, two the two witnesses that saw oh, the end right. of the world, the and Jesus then, and the Magdalene. I thought Jehovah so, was one of them. Mm. Uh, I don't know. What did he ever witness? Do we know? We're just waiting for Moses. To I pop don't know. Up. Every time right. they come up to my door, I tell them to fuck off. <laughs> I wish. Well, maybe next time when they show up, I'll be no, like, No, you don't. Hey, you hug was... them and you say, "Come on in." I'll yeah. tell them. Fuck off. <laughs> right. So, but anyway, off. Yeah, so they got to the point where they claimed that they were the two talked about in Revelations. Um, they were here because it was the end of days. And so they claimed that everybody, we would die, and then you're restored to life. In the views of others, they would have witnesses, and they would ascend to the spaceship, where they would achieve the, this is the title, next level to humans. So it space- doesn't have an actual name. They were the next level to humans. So space the, Jesus. Like the next level. They human are space two. Jesus. Yeah. Whatever right. is after human, human. two. So just space Jesus. Yeah. They eventually space assembled Jesus. in Oregon and had a huge, uh, I don't know. Compound? Not not compound. No, they had like a display or whatever. Like they went there and had a, uh, they were talking and showing off and trying to get their message to people and they had all their followers there and uh after that, the followers okay. all got rid of all of their possessions and said goodbye to people, and then they just took off, just vanished. And so that evening on the news, Walter Cronkite reported on it and said that a... Wait, wait, how do you say it? This is Walter Cronkite. A score of persons have disappeared. It's a mystery whether they've been taken on so-called trip to eternity or if they've simply been taken. You sound like Obama. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, tried to find an, I tried to find an actual clip, uh, but instead I figured I would do it and we'd throw up old Liam Neeson because he said they were taken, and, you know, that's his <laughs> fucking specialty. <laughs> I, I mean, had, very I mean how does she get taken, like, three times? I know. At some point... At that when point, you, you lock her ass in a fucking room because you know she's got a price on her head. <laughs> why do, why do you just at that point say, you're a bad fucking father, dude? Like, honestly, <laughs> this is just bad parenting. Uh, Dalton, so, Dalton, anyway, Dalton, sadly, in, around, in the 70s... <laughs> I'm sure it's Liam Neeson was still acquiring his special set of skills. He didn't quite have them oh, yet. he was enough working to, on them. <laughs> enough to travel the world. He was and in school anyway, for so they weren't actually taken. Doe and T led their 100 crew group of followers. They called them the crew cross country. So they stayed in tents and sleeping bags and begged on the street. So they were professional homeless. Where was Fasolati? They weren't, they weren't around yet. What? <laughs> he gets it. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> You mean you rabies? commoner? Just shut up. <laughs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> they were uh, just traveling around, begging and sleep- sleeping in tents. So Apple White <coughs> began claiming to be the present representative of Jesus. So the soul that inhabited the body of Jesus, as we all know, a super ripped guy with the great abs. 
Dude, hot. As uh, after he died and ascended, he didn't go to heaven. He went to the spaceship. You know, the kingdom of heaven Who is just another spaceship? plane. It's not So, whatever. wait, is the spaceship... Is Aliens. Okay, so the spaceship is to get to heaven? Or no. No. The spaceship is the next level where you get your new body. Oh, because we're going to And be that's the kingdom of God. Yeah. Okay, that's where I get confused. I'm like, is this like a transportation thing into where we're going? Maybe, or? yeah. I think what he's trying to say is you become another th- planet. Uh, you become a Thetan. And then you, Man. and then you, but then you have to come back down and inhabit people to get yes cleared you, out. In one finger, you could have like a hundred thetans. Sure, that's right. Those are just some tiny little guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> tiny little guys. So he claimed that after Jesus died, his soul went back up to the kingdom, and now you know he said he was going to be back, and when he came back, it's the end of days. So now, Applewhite claims that he, the soul of Jesus, came down and and inhabited his body because he was an empty container, and now he's the holder for the entity known as Jesus. That's that clip we was do. And and Bonnie Nettles was God the Father. God, God the Father. The... But he was in human form. Yes. <laughs> Just in human form. Now, uh, they weren't concerned about gender. In fact, Applewhite had castrated himself. Whoa. And, and oh. many of the followers did also. I thought it was, was like, like a chemical castration. I didn't think it was like a legit. Uh, they were they were castrated for sure. <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, not cheating, everybody did, you? but they. No, Tommy. They wanted everybody to dress the same and look the same. There was not to be any fraternization. There was no sexual. Is it not? Yes. <laughs> or so rather, this was lack of. Definitely not like any other cult where they greatly encourage a bunch of banging. Yeah. This, there was none of that. He is very strict Anyway, how is your sex life? Non-existent. <laughs> I'm a eunuch, did you um, know? So, uh, I hate when the eunuchs come around. Okay, yeah, so he's Jesus, she was God. You still have Liam and they were Nielsen looking up? for the evolutionary yeah. kingdom level above human. Yeah. That's what you're going for here. Like a ghost, basically. Right. A yes. spirit. Uh, well, no, I mean, that's just the next level. You ascend to the next level. Well, that's assuming when you no longer need this is he body. A friendly ghost? You get your, your better body. Well, is he a Casper? Well, Casper was good. He had two brothers that were pretty dicky. Three brothers. Fetso Three brothers. And that's yeah. the only one I remember. So it's like, I guess the odds of you being a good ghost is one in four. <laughs> yeah. Noted. It's scientifical. Just uh, out of this crew, I know who's going to be. Yeah, definitely. It's yes. awful kind of that you think that I don't have malicious intent, intent for after I'm out of this world. I'd I, I like Casper that means I'm, I'm putting on ghost. a good front. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Definitely you, hard hat. Definitely you. Uh, so they started getting some, some big name people and funding. They started actually people were giving them money. A man named John Craig, who was a Republican representative running for the Fucking House of Representatives for Colorado. He fucked around with the group for a bit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I wrote that in specifically. Yeah, I, wanted I, to say, I wanted to say that he fucked around. He fucked around, <laughs> fucked around with the group for a bit. And he underlined it twice. Uh, so then <laughs> That's very this went on and they grew and they grew and they got funding and they were able to get houses and stuff. And then Bonnie, poor Bonnie Pig Poop, died in 1985 of liver cancer. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> liver cancer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So... Old Marshall <laughs> Applewhite once again revised and renewed and changed the story, and eventually the group became known as a cyber culture. Cyber seeking, culture? Or they called themselves the higher source, and by the mid-90s, they were using this brand new thing called the internet to Ooh. recruit. Ooh. We, we use that. Uh, so Dial up. They were, uh, yeah, they were the techno cult. They didn't need no pamphlets no more. They were utilizing what, what? that. And they have a they have a website that looks like it might have been the first one ever put up on the internet, and it has not it's fucking still changed. It, it has, is and they still haven't, they haven't changed it at yeah. all. Um, so anyway, rumors started of Hale Bop. Hale Bop had been discovered. I remember and aware that. Of. Isn't that that Hanson song? Because I'm old. Yes, Hale Bop. I think me and Nick are probably the only ones that actually remember when Hale Pop passed by last. Yeah, it was it was about uh, 1997. Seven. Yeah. yeah, who would have thought that? I was in eighth grade. Um, <sighs> so the rumors began of the of Hale Bop housing the secret to ultimate salvation and ascendance into the kingdom of heaven. I'm ready to go. Everybody, right now. everybody, remember that rumor? <laughs> <going around? laughs> uh, so yeah, the comet became the thing. That was where uh, the the ship to the next level was housed in the tail of the comet. Oh. Like, it yes, was flying totally. in, in the wake of the comet. <laughs> it was a wake so, riding. This is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> and he got all these people. So 1996, 
they moved into the what they called the monastery at the address of it's changed, so I feel okay giving this address out because they <laughs> completely changed the street name and everything now. But it was at eighteen three four one Colina Nort Avenue. I know where that is now. <laughs> I'm going. Just We're all kidding. Going. I don't um, know where that is. Now. I have no idea. Yeah. So they moved into this massive house. As I said earlier, seven thousand dollars a month to rent it. Because it was a uh, almost ten thousand square foot mansion. I know where the yeah. area is. Seven so. thousand a month. Yeah. Uh, yeah so this mansion became ridiculous. the gathering place for what they called the closure to Heaven's Gate. Get it? Because gates gotta close, right? I mean, you gotta close them sometimes. <laughs> the closure of the gate. Unless you're desperado, because then you gotta open it anyway. And then Eagle you song? have like gu- you have guns Aww. in your your guitar so, cases. And no, not the movie, the song. Oh. Got to open the gate. So on March 19th and 20th in uh, 96, he began taping himself talking about mass suicide. And these are the infamous tapes. And I couldn't I couldn't make it all the way through him because, yeah, he doesn't blink. He just has this weird fucking voice. He, like, He's catches orange. himself a lot. I di- uh, we, you know, like, he oh, has like, a lot I of weird, weird, yeah, weird little kind of Freudian Can we listen slip to him some more of that? Um, I mean, I don't have any more pulled, but if you want to just do a search, let's I'd watch that first clip again, and uh, maybe we got now we have some context to go with behind right. it. I just don't think he had eyelids. He might not have. I don't think God, uh, I don't Jesus ever blinked. Anyways, there's nothing about it in the Bible that it he does not mention him well, blinking that he once. Blunked. The name Christ might be a little confusing, or the name Jesus, because the name Jesus, of course, of course, was the name given to the body that that mind that was indeed from the kingdom of heaven came and that mind was here 2,000 years ago and that mind came for the express purpose of teaching humans how they could be saved, how they would not be plowed under at the end of the age. Well, we're at the end of the age. So the one or the mind that was in Jesus, what? That mind is in me? What? Huh? You'll have to decide that for yourself. All right, all right. I must admit... Right, so, wait, 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 wait. He's saying... Okay, so he's not... He's just a vessel. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Jesus didn't become Jesus until he was about 30, when the celestial mind came down and it inhabited the vessel of that body. Ah. Okay. But wait a minute. Which is probably why he had all those lost years we never hear about, because he was just a regular fucking oh, teenager, 20-year-old fucking off or so So how did Virgin Mary uh, give birth to Jesus? Yeah. Well, because God Space the Father is involved, too. Because, okay, so maybe God, like, touched the bo- uh, the, the belly, and then you get, like, a he baby. Needed the, needed the but right... then 30 years later, it's like, all right, we got to kill that thing inside, and we got to put my boy up in there. Uh, maybe. God. That guy's just, a cruel dude, man. Uh, so yeah, now it makes, and the whole bit when he said it's going to be plowed under is because the earth is going to be fine, he says. The earth is not ending, but it's being recycled, and the humans, a lot, like life as we know it, is changing, and the next wave is going to start on this. So that's, that was what the plowed over thing was. Uh, How was the stance on actual recycling things? <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were really, really weird. They all had to eat the same thing. There was a restaurant they went to a lot, and they would call it in ahead and have to have everything sitting and waiting for them when they came to eat. They were really particular about it, and every once in a while they would do that, uh, was it that water with lemon and honey and cayenne pepper or whatever Oh, they were cleanse. doing a cleanse. But they would do it for like four months instead of the one Ouch. month most people do it. Like, they were mm. really fucking no weird. No wonder he saw Jesus. That'll make you hope. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll um, I did not see anything about whether they recycled, but uh, I mean, if that's your main part of your diet, there's not much really to recycle. Yeah, they're not Honestly. drinking beer. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, he started doing those videos talking about mass suicide, saying it was the only way there was to evacuate this earth. That was how you were going to go with Jesus into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom beyond human, uh, all his other names for it. <laughs> UFOs were going to take your souls to the level of existence above human. Right. And it's weird because he never had names for these things, just like really very basic descriptors like that. That was how everything was called. But this is really weird because there's a, a link on their website to a page that's very specifically anti-suicide. What? So that is fucking weird what? that that's still up there. It's like our stance against suicide and blah, blah, blah. And, that's but, just a show. So was but he... then he's talking about that being the only way 
to get off of this planet. Get onto Haley's comet. So did he do like his own sermons with his followers, or oh yeah, was it just like, like he was him and Bonnie before she passed were were definitely the preachers of this. So in their heads, this was like a full on religion. This, yeah, there was like this is completely. Well, he horrible. honestly thought he was fucking Jesus. Right, like he's the reincarnate. So like. And the book, or the book, that that one book where it talks about Jesus. Um, oh, yeah. Like, he takes that very, very literally. Is there any information about, like, his childhood or any other side, aside from, like, whatever sexual problems he was having? Is, uh, I mean, like, not, that's the only thing that really. I have. They say that uh, Marshall Sr., his dad was abusive and a drunk, but there wasn't a whole lot of info on it. What about her or anything? No? Not that I when, no. when did Jesus cut off his cock? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just said that he had done that and then started preaching about it and making his... Or he didn't make his followers. They could choose to. So all the ones that did it did so voluntarily. Hey, guys, I just want to let you know I cut my cuck off. Uh, so, if you uh, guys are down to do it, I mean, I won't say no, but I'd like you guys to join me. You don't all have to do it, but I'd like you to cut your cock off for me. Good news. Right. I already did. She's, she's in. <laughs> the spaceship's waiting Actually, for you. Actually, technically, you just never developed one. So you didn't have to. Uh, c- now we're gonna have to cut off her clit. Technically, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to slide, uh, just sand off that that clit of yours. Yeah. Wow. Sander. Okay, hey, back oh. off, dude. Man. That's got harsh Some real quick. That, that was fucking <laughs> that visual. Was, but hey, what did I do? One, what did I do to you, thing. Hey, one quick aside though: genital mani- uh, mutilation, mutilation is a real thing. That is. That's I think why it is, and it is. Hard hat's got a sander. Religious in the car. based. Get. <laughs> I know this is. All right. I know this right. is your studio, but <laughs> so <get> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what was the fuck? Uh, yeah, you have to commit suicide. Like Bonnie didn't. I don't think was able to go because that's she totally died by natural the, causes. That's totally against the Bible. Though. I know. It's almost like this guy's crazy or something. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Why? No, but he's see, not. Group, this is the group all he's logical. The is only focused on the end of days, the final, the last stuff. Like Revelation's really all they give a fuck about. Um, mm. Well, I just, I so guess obviously I'm just, there's a lot in it that they didn't pay attention to. I'm just to. curious because, you know, I mean, I know technically cults, it's they try to do this whole I'm a messiah thing. You need to listen to me. They try to cut off their families, all of this other yep. stuff. That's why I was kind of curious about like him as a kid or him. I, I just saw a bit you know, about his dad. And then when his dad died, that's what drove him over the edge and ha- put him in the psych ward. But it didn't really talk about his mom. Hmm. So that's interesting. She must have been just a normie. Maybe that's why then. No, she's just the Virgin Mary. She's a <laughs> as an orange or a gray. Yeah, I, the, I was assuming you guys were talking about old Guadalupe. <laughs> assumptions uh, Guadalupe. over there. We're yeah. in Austin. Okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Pardon me, man. All right, Shock. so <laughs> get it right. Yeah. So now Locking in October in. of 1996, the group went and purchased alien abduction insurance. <laughs> Well, who's who's offering that? <laughs> Probably some dude in an alley somewhere. Geico. I'm sure. Yeah, is it um, fucking farmers? Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Nationwide is on Nationwide your side. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> if the um, so comes. the policy that they got covered up to 50 members and would pay out a million dollars per person. A million dollars per person, up to 50 people, <laughs> and it covered abduction, <laughs> impregnation. Or death by aliens. Thank death by snoo God. snoo, not not oh. covered, not covered. But death, well, they couldn't snoo snoo anyway. They weren't allowed to sex. So. Oh, that's <laughs> right. But death by aliens. So the all right. So now we're back to where we started. The bodies were found on March twenty sixth, nineteen ninety seven. But they were some of them were already decomposing, so they didn't die right then. Gross. Oh. Um, yeah, San Diego, San Diego heat, you know, I'll get you. Um, they One were, heat, no humidity, no heat. They What's were, wrong they with were you? aged from 26 to 72, so quite a quite a spread. The members took a mix of phenobarbital, which is an epilepsy mm-hmm. treatment. Mm-hmm. Wait, isn't that that stuff that b- uh, barbers put their combs in? Bar- barbital. <laughs> No, you're thinking of Barbasol. Isn't that that blue shit? Isn't that the shaving cream? (laughs) (laughs) We're all off here. Uh, So, phenobarbital and applesauce was the mixture they took. Was it cinnamon applesauce? They washed it down with vodka. Hell yeah. What's it called? Phenol what? Phenobarbital. That's pH. It's it's a drug, so it's pH. Not You're you're way off. (laughs) It's called autocorrect. Learn your spelling. (laughs) I don't anyway. have to spell anymore. I don't have to okay. know how to spell right. Uh, <laughs> phenobarbital applesauce washed down with vodka. Also, they had plastic bags secured over their heads. Oh, shit. So under, oh. The, under the purple cloak. They were not messing around with this. They also ex- as- induced asphyxiation. 
Go ahead. And uh, so they died in three separate groups over three days. So one wave would die, and, and the here. remaining participants would clean up after each prior group's death. Oh, shit. So 15 died on March 24th, 15 more on the 25th, mm. and then nine on the 26th, finally. Uh, good old Tiddlywings Applewhite was the third to last to go. And there were two, <laughs> two that remained after him to secure his bag. And they were the only two found without bags secured over their heads. Obviously, once you take that and lay down, you can't yeah. do that. So they were the only two found without the, uh, the asphyxiation bags. Um, so one of the dead bodies they found was a man named Thomas Nichols, who was the brother of... Oh, over here now. Actress Nichelle Nichols, who played Uhura in the original Star Trek series. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. Uhura. So what? just, I'm sure they were really excited to get him in since, uh, you know, they were obsessed with Star Trek and he was in. That was, anyway. That was the, so the her, chair. Her poor brother got duped into this whole group. Um, so the thing is, like, they weren't crazy. It didn't go a wall or didn't go nuts like Jonestown, where the people weren't wanting to do it and were held at gunpoint to do it. Oh, they all were participating in this to the point where it took three days, and they would like help put the bags on other people yeah. and assist in Damn. the suicide. So it was, and it was very well organized. Very, I just, sounds like. and I wonder how out. drugged up they had to be to deal with that. I I don't think they were. No, oh, they, please, like, like I need I need something wrong for this. I mean, if you if you do a cleanse for four months, <laughs> I mean, I don't um, if like. Junk food is too much of a no-no for you. I don't imagine that fucking drugs are allowed anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Although they did wash can't. things down with vodka, so... And they did Vodka. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, so, uh, so we ev- got everybody was willing. All the bodies ended up being cremated, since most were well into decomposition already. Yeah. Uh, after this, two of the former members who weren't in the monastery then committed suicide in a similar manner, one in May of 97, so a few months later, next in February of 1998, so a bit later. There was a random man, a uh, 58-year-old man in California who decided he liked their ideas and hoped to, to, hop, on. Hoped to hop on the ride and wanted to join them, so he went in <laughs> April of 1997. He went the month after. Uh, there are two surviving members left. Still, and they're the ones operating the website that never gets updated or changed anyway. So I don't know exactly what they're doing to it to what? maintain. They're it. waiting for the no- next comet. Mm. Yeah, because um, you can't just like kill yourself. It has to come. Uh, has to you pop have up to, there. Yeah. How are yeah. you? Gonna get, how are you getting on the spaceship? Well, yeah. I mean, how does it happen in the first place? I mean, you probably cl- kill yourself anywhere, and then you'll end up there, right? Because you're a spirit, or you're beyond human, and you could just travel to wherever right. it's at. You don't have to right. wait for it. Oh. Well, maybe well, yeah. it has, maybe it has to be close. Maybe there's a range to how far into space spirits can float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the science yeah, is still they're out. limited. Yeah, uh, real quick, ask the floor. Real first. quick aside, we got the comment section blowing up over oh, here, okay. guys. What do we got? Uh, Barbicide is what it's called that barbers use. No. To oh, the, uh, the <laughs> nice. combs. That was not well, nice. Barbasol shaving cream though. Was that no, right Barbasol on the Barbasol? Is shaving yeah. Cream. Good. Yeah. Uh, Los, we got some comments on your haircut. Is it good? What they, are they saying? It just Why says. Don't you read the uh, comments. It just says good haircut. Oh, thank you. Who said that? Uh, who do you think said that? My sister. Yep. Aww. Aww. <laughs> and then uh, we've got Mrs. Passion. Oh, is she watching? She was. Uh, yeah. She, well, a little bit. Uh, let me see. Damn it! I lost her comment. Way to go. But we've got. Uh, we had Mr. Coach commenting on no female hu- uh, mutilation. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Pro- Thanks, probably more. Babe. At least not the specific uh, one. Yeah. At least not, not this one because yes. that one is mine. Is what he's <laughs> <That's laughs> yeah. looking bad. out for number one over here. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Hey, I man, love that man. Oh yeah! Way to go, Mr. Coach. <laughs> well, yeah. so we have two more people left. They're waiting, right. and they're yeah. I I don't even know if they're waiting, but they're running the website and doing absolutely fucking lootly nothing. nothing with it. So I thought that I was going to talk about all the the influences in popular culture they've had since they drew from it so much. But there was just a long, long ass list of songs about them in some way, and I just didn't. I'd never heard of any of them. And didn't want to write out. So all I know is there was that episode in Family Guy where they end up hanging out with the Heaven's Helpers. Yes. That was a direct jab at this. And I also think if you watch Parks and Rec, that group that keeps renting out City Park because it's the the world's going to end. And so Ron Ron sells them all his handmade flutes and makes a bunch of money off them. That's right. (laughs) Also, there were some pretty flutes. That was, I think, based off of this too. King of the Hill, they run into a group of people wearing track suits all the same. Oh, see, yeah. all, All named Jill. All named Jill. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, and it, I didn't see mention if everybody got to make their own names or keep their names, because, I mean, 
Dodo and Titty or whatever, like they changed their names seemed like more often than underwear. They were constantly calling themselves different things. So I don't know if the members got well, to come up with their own or if names were bestowed upon you as you got further and further into things. I remember reading something about the uh, like the bow and the peep or whatever the it's they got those names because they thought that they were the leaders of a flock. Um, well, I mean, I, I read Bo, somewhere about Bo that. Bo was one of them, but he had like Doe and T, which are part of the Soulfish system in music, mm-hmm. and then Tiddly and Guinea. I, I mean, don't know where the I don't know, but I mean, Star Trek. Trek. She was, Somebody start looking into Star Trek. She and was. She also called herself there. Pig and Poop, and I just don't understand why Maybe you would ever go with Pig the Poop. Pig. Boar. It's called a boar. Yeah. I, I am that. So year I of the know Year of the shit. But poop. Hey. You know what? Year of the dinosaur. No, I was talking not, about I, the pig. I was talking about the pig. I know. I'm just saying, why would you call yourself poop? Well, I am your spiritual <laughs> leader and advisor, poop. <laughs> just call me P. I'll just wait for the next one to come back yeah. around. Yeah. You move along, poop. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with pig for now until your next nickname comes along. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't feel like affectionately calling you poop. <laughs> I feel like that does not oh, go with yes, my teaching. Oh, yes, wise poop. <laughs> Teach me the ways, poop. Teach me your poop <laughs> ways. Poop maybe ways. maybe she got it because somebody took a dump and it looked like her. Oh, they saw the face they of their the leader in their poop. The wow. the poop. I've never looked at my poop that close, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything about like a question mark. You guys have never looked at your mark. poop and saw like, hey, that kind of looks like Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, that's a really awkward shape that's to crap, though. <laughs> I might need California to go on California could make sense, but I, I might need to go on a talent show then, guys. Either yeah, that or a I cleanse. I just make I got one for I've you. had some that are like Hawaii, just bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Those yeah. are usually after a hard day's drinking though. The Philippines the Correct. Philippines. Uh, anyway, so Florida says I love you like a China poop. Yes, yeah. all the islands are poop. So are poop. So there we go. That's my man. The 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 tie in here with Christianity is all obviously he believed that he was the the coming of the end. That was foretold in Revelations, um, so like he was kind of running with it, I guess. Instead of based off of it, he thought he was concluding it, and he is Jesus coming back and taking the people up to his heaven, and his version all, of heaven. And for all we know, they no, probably made it. No, it's not his version; it's the correct version. What is wrong that's with right. you? Well, like that's I said, right. for all we know, he probably made it, and they're sitting up there well, in heaven right I, now. I, I, I almost said God, but it's Bo. But Bo, Bo. <laughs> Bonnie, or. Bo. Poop and fa <laughs> and so and la and tea and do. A deer. A female, female deer. deer. All right. That has been another All episode. All right. There we go. Oh. Heaven's gay. It explains. Now, now, now what? <laughs> now what do we do? Just uh, stand by. We're going to take a, a potty break. Yay! And for everyone out there, we're getting some more human music. We're gonna put on a little bit of human. Do we have any other music. other thing we can use for? Uh, why for would music? you want anything else? Because I mean, we all we all it's like it. We all like it. We all like it. I like it. Right? Who doesn't like human music? Hmm. It's like you're not human Bo. if you don't like it. Well, yeah, because he's not human. And so, y'all enjoy this out there. He, he has advanced to the level beyond human. I like it.
Russian music. I like it. Fuck, Rakins! You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch! Right, the mics are getting hot again, and we're gonna get started. Been another All episode. All right, there we go. Oh. Heaven's gay. Nick explains. Nick, Nick explains. Let's do some news. We got the news with Nick and no such right. We coming at you, coming with the light. We got the news. We've got. The Hey guys, welcome to another episode of, uh, this is actually not an episode, this is just a segment. It's the news. <laughs> so, episode of the news. A uh, new episode of the news. The New York Times announced this week that tech journalist Sarah, Sarah Jong will join its editorial board, and the ensuing outcry from the right-wing Twitter has both, uh, was both swift and familiar. Jong is a culture journalist. She's also an outspoken co- uh, preve- uh, progressive and Whoa. feminist making her an obvious target for the right-wing internet mobs that have been especially active of late. Launching organized smear campaigns against left, left-leaning left celebrities by weaponizing their old jokes and tweets. And we're seeing that with uh, that gun guy. James Gunn. Yeah. Um, um, but the even Guardians of the Galaxy Guardian, movies. Guardians, and we're, you know, we have Roseanne Barr's uh, victim of that and several well, others. Well, hers was current. <laughs> well, uh, but it's in light of... That kind of things that right. are going on. There Everybody's were, saying racist things online. There were a few others I saw, and it was weird that Disney's like, oh, you said something racist a long time ago while well, we're getting rid of you. And it's like, look at your old fucking movies. Those three crows were racist as fuck. Their Siamese yeah. cats were racist as fuck. Like, you got a history of it, too, when you don't do that anymore. So get the fuck over yourself, yeah, Disney. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's everywhere. I mean, if you're going to be honest, if you're going to drag up stuff from the past. I don't it's, even think it's, it's about that. Everywhere. I think it's about, you know, that whole thing. Just we can't be that right now and so they have to distance themselves away from that kind of shit like sure. we don't, we'll, well be back later with the racist stuff but right now we gotta cut it out i just don't understand dragging it back up out of the from blue like, like for me ago. i feel like it's kind of out of the blue you're dragging it up so what's the deadline or not the deadline but where's the, the okay that's too far like when they go. Oh yeah, what's the term for that? What like does it matter? The statute well, of limitations. Why sure. does it matter if it was ten years ago? If someone was saying racist things online and people are getting fired for that kind of stuff and uh, losing their jobs and this and that, you know, why would it matter if it's ten years or if it was today? It's just you know. It's Maybe they're a different person. I mean, there is growing. I mean, it's we've like all said something. That's like saying pedophiles that don't act on it are just like regular people, and like as long as they don't act on it, they're good. But mm, like, that's as long as I don't apples. act on racism, I'm like you know, I'm still. All right. Well, let's get into what she wrote, because there's a difference, I feel like, if it's an obvious joke or if you're just actually being Let's go and pop up. These are the shit. tweets in question yeah, let's right see here. what we're yeah. talking about. And I'm going to pull them up so I can read them out loud with y'all here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so the first one here, and this is actually a bunch of them here, as you can see. The top one, this says right here, 
dumbass fucking white people are marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs pissing on fire hydrants. Let's see. Here's another one. Are white people genetically predisposed to burn faster in the sun, thus logically being only fit to live l- underground like groveling goblins? Me. <laughs> Uh, here's another I one. I mean, she was right on uh, for that first few words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are she, genetically predisposed she had me for to that. burn faster in the sun. And for how sure. about uh, hashtag cancel white people? Cancel white Can- people. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's no real hiding behind that one. Here's another one. Oh, yeah. man, it's kind of sick how much I, how much joy I get out of being cruel to old white men. Okay. Wow. I dare you to go, I dare you to get on Wikipedia and play things white people can definitely take credit for. It's really hard. Um, okay. I just realized why I can't stand watching Breaking Bad or Battlestar Galactica. The premise of both is, quote, uh, just, quote, white people being miserable. Okay. I, I think she's severely misunderstood. I've never seen the second show, but the first one, she definitely just missed the point of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I mean, white you got terminal cancer. You're going to be fairly miserable. So he's just trying to do something Here's with it. Here's the last one. I mean, I realistically, he was just trying to take care of his family. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what it happened. Started. Duh, right? I mean, that's most people who go oh, into crime. I'm so bummed. I have I'm terminal to cancer. Take care of my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, white people being miserable. Yeah, yeah. this guy's got cancer. <laughs> let's not, let's not, like, but he's white. Fuck that. <laughs> white people have stopped breeding. You'll all go extinct soon. This was my plan all along. Purple devil emoti. Emoticon. <laughs> emoti. Emoti. I don't know what they call <laughs> oh, it. I'll she never purple? use them. She's is that her? She did purple. All right, so, so, so she gets a job with New York Times as the one of the editorial uh, ed- editors there. And it seems kind of unfair that we're seeing a lot of people g- being called for racist, and this is purely her being racist against white people. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. her being a person yeah. of color, which she's Asian, which I don't feel Asians even are even on the radar for racism. Can I just state it oh, right f- now? Oh, absolutely they are, for sure. Can I just state for right now that the term that drives me nuts is reverse racism? Yes. That just drives me bonkers. Well, it's, it's, just r- racism. it's just, it's just racism. racism. Period. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Sorry, I just... That's been kind of going around You're and absolutely around. Right. It's just one of those things that drives me nuts. I mean, we can all be racist against each other. It doesn't matter Correct. what your skin which color is. Which direction it's... Right. Which color is hating which color. It's still hating someone of a different color. So you're, it's just racism. Absolutely. So Here. Let's all hug it out. God damn. Well, it's, it's hard. Rainbow. It's hard. Some of us want to... Just everybody Some of us want to, joint. you know... <laughs> We want to talk. We want to hash out these ideas, but sometimes Gosh. there's one side or the other side. There, there's people that will call you something. They'll call you Nazi. They'll call you. Uh, they'll call what you say is hate speech without any sort of like conversation about it. They just miss. No, that's hate speech. I don't want to talk about it. We're not. We, you, fuck you. You're white. You're a male. You can't talk about abortion. Fuck off. This is the kind of life we're living where we're seeing all these kind of things, and I'm not down for that. I think we should have an open. So what you're saying is talking. political correctness has overrun the discussion. Yes, absolutely. And it has been, and it's it's continuing today. I mean, we, we know where it comes from, where it's going, and we're not for it. Not one freaking bit. Nick's a little bit down for it, but he'll... No, I just no. think there's not a lot you can do about it. There is. You don't... You don't. Like when we were doing the, the episode on it, and you were like, where's the line? Where's the line? Like, it's not. It's just language evolves. Some things are offensive, and soon they won't be, but something else will you're be, right. and it just constantly yeah. evolves. You're right. It's not you're like right. there's uh, a line. You're right that language evolves, but in this case, it's being legislative. It's, 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 it's not right. just naturally happening. Right. Well, Hard Hat and I were talking earlier, and I was like, you can't put a definite line on something that is circumstantial and opinion. Like what one person finds offensive, the other doesn't. So you can't have a set definition mm-hmm. line, this is, this isn't, when it's going to be different every single case to every single person. You can't. Like something that's black and white, okay, Right. you killed a guy. Now we can talk about whether it was self-defense or whether it was premeditated or whatever, but this person's now dead. That definitely happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's something you could put a line on. But something like a... Sp- a speech, form of speech, or whatever. Like, I don't know. I've had people say fucked up shit, and I don't give. I don't care. Right. Or like, but somebody yeah. else would find it offensive. So it's not those words are offensive. Those words are offensive to that person. Yeah, but should you oppress your movements and your intellectual thought no, just because someone also might the, get offended? The people who, well, like I said on that yeah. episode, if the people are, that are the target of those statements don't say anything about it, it's some other random third party just being like, oh my god. Hate speech, like, mm-hmm. what the fuck are you even 
Let me if ask you're not you. Even yeah, what, involved I mean, in that. my whole thing too is nowadays you've got people fanning the flames on either side. It doesn't matter if you're far Both left, sides, far many right. Sides. It it doesn't matter. It's 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 gotten to the point where you can't say anything without censoring yourself. So you're there's the problem right there. Your I mean, you can't even no. like. I mean, you can't even. It's hard to approach a conversation when you already feel like you have to edit yourself. Sure, absolutely. And if a person hears something or reads something that they find offensive, then they should just address that and say, "Here's why I have a problem with this." Don't immediately get aggressive because that doesn't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, talk to the person or bring something up. Write New York Times a letter and say, "Here's why I have a problem with this." Or what? Like, handle it one on one. If someone fucking pisses you off at work. You go up and say, hey, Can we Jenny, talk this it? wasn't cool. That was my fucking yogurt in the fridge. And I don't like that you keep eating my yogurt. Jenny is always taking right? my yogurt. Like, so, so anyway, Jenny sorry, get back to Karen. it. So, <laughs> so get back to it. Sorry. But As you, you were saying, so this actually didn't, it. this happened. So people uh, screenshotted all her racist tweets and sent them over to New York Times saying, do you guys realize who you hired? And so New York Times put out a statement and go and put that up and if, see if you can put it in full screen if you can. Sure. I'm going to read this here. This is their statement in response to criticism of the hiring of Sarah Jong. And this is the statement. We hired Sarah Jong because of the exceptional work she has done covering the internet and technology at a range of respected publications. Her journalism and the fact that she is a young Asian woman have made her a subject of frequent online harassment. For a period of time, she responded to that harassment by imitating the rhetoric of her harassers. She sees now that this approach only served to feed the vitriol that we too often see on social media. She regrets it, and the Times does not condone it. We had, con- we had a candid conversation with Sarah as part of our thorough vetting process, which included a review of her social media history. She understands that this type of rhetoric is not acceptable at the Times, and we... Uh, and we are confident that she will be an important voice for the editorial board moving forward. Okay. See, my favorite, my, my whole, with, with that is, I mean, journalists typically are supposed to report the truth, are supposed to, uh, yes. opinions aside. Yes. They're unbiased. Just unbiased. Mm-hmm. But she's writing for an editorial which is a completely different type of journalism. It's uh, yes, you uh, get to be opinion you biased get to and be opinionated. Biased and opinionated. So I kind of. So what does that say about New York Times then? Do that's they have any conservative uh, s- um, editorials there? Well, and that's, that's uh, wasn't that the one op-eds. that did like r- uh, alt right uh, things? Like we're going to do a special look into the life of this person. Like they they were the ones doing exposés on yeah. white supremacists or people that everybody else is just destroying. They were the ones actually doing that, so they do cover it. Well, sure. the Times, well, news. the Times is a big enough paper of all papers the first thing we learn in journalism i took journalism first thing you learn is there's no such thing as an absolute freedom. well what's the difference between a, a editorial board and op-ed uh, opinion mm. editorials <sighs> editorial doesn't that mean she just edits what people are saying and gets the ultimate word uh, gets what gets published it's not op-ed it's editorial it's, it's not supposed to be that way but it is i oh, mean okay so it's not supposed to it's be it's not bo- supposed to be but Understood. i like the line it said in there about she was responding in the same manner using the same rhetoric i'm glad you brought that up so bring up uh, bring up number three and this is exactly what she was uh uh uh, well her the bad stuff that was been said it's a little blurry here it says uh these are some of the tweets that have been going around that that got her to say this stuff um about all the white people Um, she tweets as a woman of color on the internet uh i have faced torrents of online hate often along this vein and it says at sarah jong if I saw you, I would sock you right in your lesbian face. Jeez. <laughs> people Sorry. Are, people are mean on the internet. Oh, my God. Here's another one. At Sarah Jong. Shut the fuck up, you dog-eating gook. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? Okay, but uh, here's my problem. This is her personal Twitter, right? This isn't the right. Times. This isn't... Well, she, these were back... These are this fine. This is what she was responding to with those white people things. So this is a go, a go. This is like a long time yeah. ago. It's her personal time. It's her so personal Twitter. It's her personal yet. whatever. Yeah, right. that's fine. So, Absolutely. Okay, that's where I get a little bit of a problem. Is I They were attacking her personally and she was responding to them personally. Not that I'm saying that personally. she's right, but... It's so what she said, uh, I engaged in what I thought at the time was counter trolling. So she thought she was trolling. Um, here's one thing that uh, let me go to the next 
the next one. When you put out something and then people respond negatively to it and then you say, oh, that was obviously a joke. That's something what we call Schrodinger's asshole. A person who decides whether or not they're full of shit by the reactions of those around them. Now, this is not, this is not scientific. This is from Urban Dictionary. But I think this is sort of funny that when people get busted for this kind of stuff, they're like, no, it was obviously me just being a troll. In the Wilkes household, oh, please. My, in the Wilkes household, my husband has a saying, if I don't find it funny, he was just joking. It was just a joke. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. This is I mean just, smart man. Right. But, but that's but, uh, but happened, that's kind of what's go what <laughs> that's happened a lot, right? Like people will say something and and then people that speak for this person who said something fucked up will go, You was just a joke. I mean that's that What, you can't take a joke? Right. Yeah. Isn't it a fucking joke? When you're not laughing, it's a joke. I'm it's just called kidding. Schrodinger's <laughs> asshole. So here's where it gets crazy and this is where I find the hypocrisy of all this thing. She never got banned, she never got uh, suspended from Twitter. There is a right wing conservative black conservative woman. Her name's Candace Owens, and I've talked to her, uh, talked about her on my show before. What she did is she took exactly what she said, and instead of white, she put black or Jewish in it. She was immediately suspended. Go and throw, that, uh, throw those uh, tweets up there, four and five. She, then I'll read to you right here. It goes, Jewish people are bullshit, like dogs pissing on fire hydrants. Cancel Jewish people. Are Jewish people genetically disposed to burn faster in the sun? And then she has to say, the above statements are from New York Times editor Sarah Jung. I simply swapped out the word white with Jewish. Candace Owens was suspended from Twitter for doing this. Can we see hypocrisy here? Can I, we all I find can see it? a little bit can there. We all I mean, see? just by changing that up We're and changing call? who your, well, caller. If uh, that was you, call back. Okay, they're just missed it. We missed it. <laughs> yeah, just missed it. Well, no matter what, Los, in this world, uh, this especially one. in America, you're going to have nothing but hypocrisy. It's just, it, it, you're going it, to, it's, no, it no, is no, what no. it is. See, yes, I know there's going to be hypocrisy, but if someone's going to get, th we're seeing more left people attacking right people and they're losing their jobs. Like, for instance, this is a pure example. That's a vice versa thing. I, uh, but Give that's because example. I live Come in the an example call. on the other here side. A call. All right, here we go. Hello, caller. You are on the air What's with the Emergency up? Exit Podcast. I don't hear you. Stand by. I don't hear me. <laughs> I hear you. Here's the weird, oh, caller. Yeah. Weird, weird sound there. What's going yeah, on Yeah, what is that noise? Hello, caller. All right. We're all being beamed up. Hang this on. is it. Just give us oh. Some, uh, this is it. Is it time? It's time. It's time. Just 20 years Everybody later. Everybody get a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> here's the crazy part. I mean, we're seeing... We're, we're seeing Hello this. Caller. I mean, she got suspended for this, for something that was already up, but it said white people. Now, I, I here it is, man. Caller? Uh, is she there? Are they there? I thought I had it. I'll well, this shows that racism is perfectly acceptable, so long it's against the right group, white people. You can say anything you want against white people, and that's not racist. That's like we said, it's, there's no reverse racism, or it's mm -hmm. just racism. When you show hatred or you... Have like if I said anything about this about the blacks, it would be so bad. But it's okay to say it about the whites because they have privilege, um, they have looks, they have all the money. Do they have all the looks? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> have you seen my? I face? just assume they have I'm all this privilege. I thought they have everything. You know. No, that's that's to get over the fact that they don't have looks. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. There's a really great video. I think you've seen it where it's a group of kids, and they have the white kids start out. Five ten steps before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah that's so stupid. But it's a good example. No, it's I, not. I, but it's it's true <laughs> though. I mean, it's a little true. It it sucks, and that's why we don't want to say it's true. Why is it though? Is it systemic? Is it like we we have a, a implicit well, bias that's like, against that's like black asking people? Somebody if no, it's nurture it, it wasn't ever like if you're white or if you're black. It was if you have this, or if you had this growing up, or if you had this. Or if you grew up like this, let's put it this and way. It was just examples of, hey, whoever has this doesn't fucking but matter. But you know, you can do the same thing on their side that the rich people, the rich kids, didn't get. You know, did you ever sleep on the? Did you ever sleep no, on the dirt? No, but the point of it was to point. <laughs> I've never. I've okay, never had to sleep with newspapers. Let's put it this way: I have never gone to school for accounting. I've never the gone to school for accounting, but I got out a job. How much easier they have it? They already had all of these advantages the other kids don't have. Now, I'll tell you why, because their parents never worked up, hard. He never brought up... Oh, well, don't. What? <laughs> the parents worked hard to have up. money. That's fucked up. That, that is. That, you know why I had a, uh, a nice life? Because my mother was an immigrant, worked hard, worked okay, every day. Okay, a lot of people work hard, but that... Like, but you know what? If you go back a generation, she would be the one that was way back. 
Right. Uh, yeah, but I. So why are we in pointing my this family, out? My aunt Sunny, who my uncle John married, he married a South Korean woman who was incredible. My aunt Sunny is probably one of the best people I've ever known, and she came to this country and got a green card and worked hard herself. She did it. It had yes, it, the system helped because she married a white man. It helped a little bit because she was able to get in those classes a little bit quicker. But she had some help. If she married a Mexican American, that would have done the same thing. Not just because it was white. It was any I, American would have gotten her quicker through that process. I don't know Let's, about that. Well, you don't know, but I'd know because it, it's literally how you become an American when you're an immigrant. You marry an American. Doesn't matter if they're white, they're black, they're yellow, purple, or uh, magenta. Yeah, but she still had to. I know do a couple the work, magenta though. people. I mean, that's the thing. She still had to put in the work. Yeah, of course. That's how you become an immigrant. That's how you become an American citizen. You put in the work and you acclimate. You acclimate to American life. That's why I'm proud to be an American. Oh, Jesus. We need that. I know I'm free. Yeah. I had a funny joke I was going to say, but I don't remember it. So I'm going to move on to the next um, next story here. Uh, go ahead and throw this image on. There's my boy, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Apple confirmed today that it removed five out of six podcasts, which includes Jones's infamous Alex Jones show. Facebook has also removed four pages that belong to Jones. YouTube follows suit later, removing his channel from its platform. Apple and Facebook said Jones violated hate speech policies on their respective platforms. YouTube removed Jones's official channel because he, con- uh, because he continued to live stream on other channels, even though he was banned for 90 days due to previous violations. So it sounds like they tried. They just got him in like a technicality. They got thing. him. Uh, go ahead and throw this quote up real quick. This is Washington's quote. Remember what Ro- Washington said. You guys remember? Four of men are to be. Four of men are to be precluded from offering their sentiments on a matter which may involve the most serious and alarming consequences. That can invite the consideration of mankind. Reason is of no use for us. The freedom of speech may be taken away, and dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. What does that mean, man? So the most alarming consequences. He's talking about people that are crazy, like Alex Jones talking about how he's going to let the frogs turn gay, and uh, he even says that the government let 9-11 happen. We say that as well. I, I, I believe that. Apple does not tolerate hate speech, and we have clear guidelines that creators and developers must follow to ensure we provide a safe environment for all of our users. This was an Apple spokesperson said in a statement today. Uh, by the way, we should be taken off iTunes if that's the case. Because we, we, we say hate speech, things that are deemed as hate speech, especially the last couple episodes. Podcast, uh, podcasts that violate these guidelines are removed from our directly, directory, oh, no. making them no longer searchable or available for download or streaming. going to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Eight of them. <laughs> we believe in representing a wide range of views so long as people are respectful to those with differing opinions. doesn't seem like they're very dis- uh, respectful to Alex Jones and uh, his thing. Matter of fact, yet you can go on iTunes and you can go and find a song p- called Disaster Piece by Slipknot. Hell yeah. The, the lyrics go, quote, <laughs> I want to slit your throat and fuck, fuck the, the wound. wound. I want to push, push my, my face, face in and fill the swoon. I want to dig inside, find a little bit of me, because a line, line gets crossed when you don't come clean. My warm wood, Mitch, your pesticide. You never get out because you so were never, never alive. alive. It's Slipknot. Wow. Anybody? Anybody? How about Sasha no. Baron Cohen singing as Borat? Sorry, I got a little... Throw the Jews down Throw the, the Jews down. These yeah. are all songs you can find on iTunes. These are all considered hate speech if you look at them at that way. They are speech. They are speeches that have hate in them, especially mm-hmm. the Sasha Baron Cohen one. You don't want to throw Jews down the well so your country can be free. <laughs> well, yeah, and it was what? just a waste of like that's orange a literal juice lyric or whatever. That's yeah. a literal lyric. Throw the Jews down the well so my country can fr- can be free. We must uh, grab them by his horns and then we, we have, have a, a big, big party. party. <laughs> wow. So I don't a, know how I feel right now. I'm so sorry. So, do you think that these should be banned for hate speech? I mean, you know what we don't, but this is if we're going to ban Alex Jones for simply saying things like Sandy Hook was a hoax, which, by the way, he went back on. He does not believe that it's a hoax. He Hello, does caller. think it's a little f- fishy. Caller, are you on the air? Yes, I am. Hi, Mr. Mr. Wilkes. Sounded like Jeff the Texan Mr. for a Coach. second. Mr. Coach. What's up, Rob? All right. I am in what I consider to be a unique situation <laughs> because... I believe that the First Amendment protects against your right to speak out against the government. Uh, in what, in what ways? Well, yeah. Whoa. What 
is that? What is happening? It's just some. Just go. Okay. In what ways? What do you mean? Um, you can say fuck Trump and Trump is a fascist, even though that's No, he can't. Words. That's his boss. <laughs> oh, I know that you can't. That's fine. What I'm saying is if you believe black people are the devil. Which I do. <laughs> hey, uh, I threw a wrench in it. Pronounce that, in my opinion. The yep. First Amendment is your ability to speak out against the government. Yes, absolutely. Not to say whatever the hell you want. Well, that's well, part that's of it why too. they say no freedom is absolute. Like, and freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from consequences. Like if you say something fucked up, and the company no, that it, it, okay, a lot of people go, oh, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Yeah. There's this whole like constitutional. Well, hold up. Wait, you, you can't. You can. You can literally yell "fire" in a movie theater. I don't know if you can go in a movie theater and yell "fire." No, but... you cannot. You can. <laughs> what if you yell "fire," right comma? Yeah, movie theater. <laughs> okay, so we're joking. If, if there is a crowded movie theater and you yell "fire," that is considered a crowded... fire. We get it. No, we were just no, joking because we, we were sorry. saying you can oh, say okay. fire in a movie theater, but you can't say fire in a movie theater. In my personal opinion, I'm really <laughs> okay. the Second Amendment. I'm very um, right leaning. I'm like have people let have let people have machine guns and whatnot. Yes. But in the First Amendment, as far as freedom of speech, I'm like you can criticize the government all you want. Can we turn them up. That's right. If you are the most racist person on the face of the earth, keep your opinions to yourself. Uh, that's y your opinion. Yeah, though. that is your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, fine I mean, if you are that person. You can hold those beliefs, but it does not benefit the nation as a whole, the world as a whole. To voice them. Yeah, but you, you know, an individual isn't thinking about the entirety no, of not. everything. I just. I didn't. I actually, I will admit, and probably Nick and Lois will know, uh, I've been watching a lot of Stephen Crowder lately. My oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm and, a mug clubber um, myself. Yeah, you are. I, I just recently watched, like, hate speech isn't a thing. Convince mm -hmm. me otherwise. Changed my mind. And, <laughs> yes, it's not legally defined. That's right. Now, um, but somehow uh, Apple has defined it. Spotify has defined it, and it seems that Alex Jones is in breach of it. Mm -hmm. Now, so um, as far as a private company yes. defining it, I have a lot of issue with that. Okay, but is I mean, as a private company, is it do their that. right to do yes, that because is. they are a private? Saying. Dumb question, we're, Amnesty we're though. Is Apple a private company? Of the country is. I don't know. They do have shareholders. Have, so. Yeah. The idea is we have free enterprise. Apple is public. That's capitalism. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Um, they're free to define whatever terms they want. But at the same time, I don't approve of the terms that they have defined. But see, that's the beauty well, of it. As an American, right. As you an get to do that. As then you don't you, have to do it. Yeah, and you don't. But well, they which hold a, here's you the don't, problem, though. You don't, App, uh, Apple holds a monopoly over a lot of things like that. And if, you, if you're if you deemed of that, where else are you supposed to go? Like, who else? Is, I guess Spotify. Well, that's and, why monopolies are illegal. Yeah. You're not but supposed here, to have here's monopolies. My thing. You're right. Here's not allowed. My, like, the core of my First Amendment belief. Do you have us on speakerphone, man? I do. <laughs> get us off, get us off, man. Yeah. Get us off of that because it's hard to hear, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. Here's the core of my First Amendment beliefs. Much better. Uh, I'm gonna start with Second Amendment. No, please don't. <laughs> God, this is this is the number one Wilkes fight ever. But, is always over the freaking Second first Amendment. First Amendment. Uh, it's it's a converse kind of thing. If you want to criticize the government, the president, your local governor, your state governor, your uh, county, whatever, right? Go for it. If you're making statements specifically, like that are <laughs> vehemently racist, um, classist, in like a degrading kind of way, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be able to make those. 
but how yeah, do you but define, how do you those, define though? those? I mean, that's, yes, that's the, the problem, problem again yes. with racism because as you, it is. Because even still, Mr. Coach, you have a hard time trying to define that and where that line is. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I where mean, do you draw that line? In your Who j- draws that in line? In your job, you e- you even have these you know, issues I, where you have I, to make I, sure I, that you're not stereotyping and you're not being racist. So I, it's where do you you know right you, you don't do get to there. Draw, that's you, what I think that's exactly what he's saying is you can't no I do I, that. I completely agree that it's hard to draw that line but look Especially, with the good of the freedom of speech that we have you have to allow the bad yeah that I has, mean it, yeah. it's going to be there you're Yen never going to completely be able to eliminate it that's but you why have to trust that like the people have enough knowledge and just intelligence to be like. Those people don't. That's really why matter. political correctness is in kind of an issue. I kind mean, of rampant. It's rampant. rampant. rampant <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. But there, there it is. I mean, if you're, well, if you're when gonna, everything comes down to a company and something is said that's going to offend a big group of people, and enough of those group of people throw a fit, that company doesn't want to lose out on the money of that big group of people as a problem. Well, so it's all completely money driven and that's why mm-hmm. they take actions like this is to show we don't agree with that. Please don't stop buying our product because they and have a we want line money. To look after. But what and if that's the, the what's behind all of it? What about the millions of people that are for Alex Jones that they're going to lose the money over? No, they're uh, they're, in, they're Cru- yeah, they're losing the money either way. Alex people Jones kind of pushes that. People that are offended me, are going to be, I, there's going to be I, a higher percentage really, of people offended that dip out than people who are for Alex Jones that are dipping. I'll be like, that's fucked okay, up. No, but and, there are not as, as many of them. As Alex Jones is concerned, I want to, like, I would like to get this out as much as possible. Alex Jones's ex wife sued him for custody of the children. Right. She used his, um, Radio persona. You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass. You keep going. <laughs> Go ahead. She used her, she used his radio persona as evidence that he is unstable. Right, which didn't work, right. by the way. But I think it's a fair um, argument. It's a radio persona. He, he argued that that was specifically a character he played. Right. Now there are plenty of people. Obviously, there's hundreds of thousands, millions of people who listen to him on a regular Mm -hmm. and believe everything he says. But there is evidence in court, legal recorded evidence, that the persona that he plays on the radio is exactly that. Yes, but the news is still the same. In a court case, I only act like that because I get viewers. That's right. I he's also yeah, said he doesn't prob- believe a lot of what he says. Like well, he's come out and said it's bullshit. Yeah. But the problem yeah. is, is where right. I mean, if he says one thing today, but tomorrow he's going to say another. That's you can't use that. That's not evidence no, my, either my, way. My whole thing is, I really believe that it's in his eyes, it's all bullshit. He's just playing a character, and he knows there's thousands of people that will listen to him, follow him. He's got. Um, yeah. You know, health supplements. Yep, that's how he makes um, most of his money. Nutrition, all this, like, <laughs> you have to go on his website and check it out. But there's <laughs> just a whole line of Alex Jones endorsed. Right. stuff that he doesn't even use. Yeah. No, yeah he uses exactly. it. Exactly. But that, all that stuff you can buy from Whole Foods. I mean, all of it is, like, stuff you can buy at Whole Foods, except you're, you're, you're buying it from him to support you know his to network. The cause, yeah. It's not like it's snake oil. Well, I, or, I he agree. knows it's what kind he's of doing. The same thing as um, OxyClean. <laughs> OxyClean <laughs> as, a, <laughs> as an example. What's uh, his name? OxyClean. Billy? You Billy. can buy he's... as the brand, or mm-hmm. you can buy calcium chlorate. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It's from a well. It's like uh, saying I'm going to buy a chemical store. Right. And it's a tenth of the cost. Right, but the difference is these products you go get at Whole Foods or whatever aren't running a show pandering to your uh, your fears and your insecurities and fear-mongering you shit that so that you will buy their money. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. The though. difference is Alec Jones is out there saying all this shit to get people to listen to him to then buy his products, whereas if you go and just buy it at the store, you didn't get berated with shit. He was doing this show for it. 20 years before he started selling these supplements. Like oh, f- I know. 15 and years. He came up with the idea that there's these uh, preppers out there, mm-hmm. preppers specifically. Oh, like that, Doomsday Preppers? Um, yep. You know, I have these amino acids that will make you prepared for the apocalypse <laughs> when 
the bad guy comes for your guns. Oh, I got to get that. I got to get that. <laughs> I got to get that. No, all you got to do is Turn commit suicide and get game. on the spaceship. And yes! Good. You, you don't know need what? To worry Problem about any solved. of it. Thank you, Nick. All right, all right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's finish up the show here. I have one last clip to play based on uh, this uh, Alex Jones nonsense. Thank you, Rob, for calling in, man. Um, Bye, honey. Yeah. Thank you. You were, uh, Thank you for your service, by the way. All right. Hey, give me about 10 seconds. I'll turn the uh, podcast back on so I can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. And edit point. Bye. Bye. All right. So Ben Shapiro, who's a fellow right-wing political talk show host who hates Alex Jones and Alex Jones hates Ben Shapiro, has some choice words on this subject. And this is our last clip. And then we're out of here. Alex Jones is a bad guy. Uh, but... The problem is this. Once you start saying that hate speech is a rationale for banning people from social media, you get into some very, very big territory. Because as we know, the left does not have a consistent standard that they uphold when they are looking at hate speech. They don't say that anything that is hateful is banned and then define hateful in extraordinarily specific terms. They don't say anything that is offensive is banned because a lot of things are offensive. Instead, they use this term hate speech to simply label stuff they don't like hate speech. I know this because I've been targeted, not by social media per se, but by a lot of folks on the left who suggest that I am some sort of provocateur involved in hate speech. What exactly have I said that is hate speech? Well, their favorite is that I don't use preferred pronouns. So if somebody like Caitlyn Jenner says that Caitlyn Jenner is a woman, I will still say that Caitlyn Jenner is a man, and I will say Caitlyn Jenner is a he. Can you pause it? This is hate, hate speech, according to a lot of folks. On it's going to have to start back over. Oh, no, just keep playing it then. Well, Alex Jones is a bad guy. Uh, right. But oh, fuck. the what? problem, problem is, this. is this. Once you start saying that hate speech is a rationale for banning people from social media, you get into some very, very big territory. Because as we know, the left does not have a consistent standard that they uphold when they are looking at hate speech. They don't say that anything that is hateful is banned and then define hateful in extraordinarily specific terms. They don't say anything that is offensive is banned because a lot of things are offensive. Instead, they use this term hate speech to simply label stuff they don't like hate speech. I know this because I've been targeted, not by social media per se, but by a lot of folks on the left who suggest that I am some sort of provocateur involved in hate speech. What exactly have I said that is hate speech? Well, their favorite is that I don't use preferred pronouns. So if somebody like Caitlyn Jenner says that Caitlyn Jenner is a woman, I will still say that Caitlyn Jenner is a man. I will say Caitlyn Jenner is a he. Right. This, this is hate, is hate speech, speech, according to a lot of folks, folks on the left. left. Well, what's, what's to, to prevent, prevent Apple or, or, or Facebook from removing my content online, online simply because I don't abide by their, by their standards. standards? There are rumors today that a lot of the social media giants are going to start banning or restricting content, content from people who they deem climate, climate change deniers. deniers. Not, Not even, even people, people who acknowledge that... that, that Climate change, climate change is happening, but, but worry that it may, may not be happening, happening to the same extent that some on the left say and don't look like the left solutions, solutions. Those, people those people may not be safe from the predations of social media also. also. So, so, again, again what, what is the exactly, what exactly is, is so terrible? terrible? The company said it removed Alex Jones' pages, pages for glorifying violence, which violates our graphic violence policy, and using and humanizing, humanizing language to describe people who are transgender, Muslim, Muslim and immigrants, which, which violates our hate speech policies. policies. Again, again, this is where we get into some serious, serious issues. What exactly violates that hate speech policy? So if I say that transgender people have mental disorders, which is a tough one do. Okay, okay, gender, gender dysphoria, dysphoria or gender identity, identity disorder, disorder is, as you may have noticed, noticed from the term, gender identity, gender identity disorder, disorder, disorder. disorder. If you, if you say, say that, that, is that, that not hate speech? speech? What if what I say, say that, that while not all Muslims, Muslums are terrorists, terrorists, a disproportionate number of terrorists are Muslims? Muslim. Is that, is that hate, hate speech? speech? Because that, that is, is also a fact. fact. What if I say that immigrants, immigrants coming, coming to the United States ought to be vetted because we don't know who's violent and who is not? Is that, is that hate, hate speech? speech? I, don't I don't think it is. I don't even think it even comes close to hate speech. speech. But, but one of the big problems is that you have too many folks on the left who decide that anything they don't like now is, is, is hate, hate speech. speech. Alex Jones is a bad, bad guy. All right, that's it. Okay, Bye. caller, you're on. Who are we talking to? One second. One second. Are they not up? Uh, now we can hear them. Caller. She's calling right now. Caller, you're on. Who are we talking to? Hey, sorry, Brandon. It was just me. <laughs> I hung up on accident. Hey, what do you have to say today? What's going on? You're on the air. Hey. Hello, Nick. Hi, who's Hi. this? Coach. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah we, we can got hear you. you. Can you hear us? Okay. I don't think she can hear us. You dude. might have a delay. Roxy, Possibly. can you hear us? Oh, oh it's Roxanne? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? I'll call back. No. no. She... <sighs> she could obviously this hear is, us. This is going through an uh, awesome time here, guys. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Great. Great, 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 great. She can answer the phone. Call her. Can Rox you hear us? Roxanne, what's up? Okay, yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. 
Can you all hear me okay? Yes, yep. we can hear you. What we do you have to you. say? Uh, well, I was going to call earlier when you guys were actually doing hate speech more in depth. Um, but I was going to ask, because I asked in the chat there, I was like, so why does everybody feel the need to express their opinion all of the time? So my question was, is, I mean, I find you guys to be a ge generally pretty neutral viewed podcast. You're not mm -hmm. like too biased leaning on one side or the other. Okay. Um, Checks so and I was going to say in your personal, like, do you usually always express your opinion sometimes and then like at what extent does it make you have to express your opinion well i think like everybody it's like negative i feel like everybody has those few trigger topics that no matter what they're gonna they're gonna express their opinions i mean for me as a woman if somebody's talking about my body i'm going to state my opinion about it whether the person i'm talking to likes it or not it's my opinion so I I think to answer your question is it really just depends on the topic for yeah. whomever you're talking to. Well, that's the thing. Like for me, uh, I have a lot of friends that I'd rather not talk politics with because it's not going to go anywhere productive. No. So I, therefore, I don't do it. Now, sometimes I'll hear them say things political that you, you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going to restrain myself, I expect you to do the same. And it's only because we're friends and I don't want to sully that with with fights over stupid things that, are, that don't matter to us because yeah. it doesn't involve our friendship. Right. So not, not just you and me, but like other friends. Because <laughs> we yeah. do get in our political we conversations and um, yeah. we're I, learning to get better about it. He still does right. that. Sh sh shut the fuck. Shut your fuck. Sh he, he still does that to me. <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. You too? I don't do that. But uh, <laughs> thank you for calling, Roxanne. Anything else you got to say? Well, I was like, going to say on those certain topics, are they always triggers or are there some, is there some degree of severity where somebody's opinion is differing than yours where you express your opinion then? Well, sometimes it I depends. just... You always react to the same trigger conversation the same way, like where it gets you, okay, this is I, I need to say what's up, or it do sometimes you let it pass? It depends on the situation, like... If, always depends on the situation. Well, I mean, if, we are, if we're out somewhere, I'm not going to cause a fucking scene because... It What's annoys me, like, yeah. I mean, if, if it's, like, me and somebody just hanging out in the living room or whatever, then, yeah. I mean, it, it's all situational, and it also depends on can it be a discussion or is it just going to be us blindly screaming our sides at each other and not listening to the other person. But uh, I don't know. I, I think it would take something really fucked up for me I'd to speak up. Like, yeah. if you're saying something I know somebody doesn't like, I would say, hey, don't say that, or I'd try to, like, just stop it, as opposed to, like, you can't fucking do that! You can't and try to get all confrontational, because nobody wants that shit. But you can address it and say, hey, that's not cool. Don't do this. Don't do that. I don't know. Like, I don't like... There are certain things I don't want to hear, so I'm very sensitive, like, I don't want to say or do something that's going to bother somebody else, because I don't like the feeling when that is said around me, mm -hmm. so I don't want to put anybody else in that situation. So I try. I just try to be aware of that, and uh, go from there. Yeah, I guess Fair the enough. question comes down to, do you know who you're talking to versus do you, is it a complete stranger? Like in our household, it could be not further from oceans is that my husband is complete pro gun. Makes sense. He's a military man. Whereas I'm a little bit more liberal on the fact. So we don't talk about it really. Obviously I still respect the fact that he owns guns, that he likes to go shooting, that he does those things. That's his thing. And he respects the fact that I'm not always comfortable around it. So it really I think when it comes to hate speech and polar opposites, it depends on who you're talking to and oh, how absolutely. well you know That's the right. Alex Jones is a bad guy. Uh, Alex Jones is a bad guy. Ignore it. All right, uh, Roxanne, you have anything else? Nice the barber or the stylist? Last question, I swear to God. Whenever you go to go get your hair cut, are you nice to your barber or stylist? Last Always. Question. Am I nice? Yes, they is have it, a control of my okay, hair. Okay, well, hang on, hang on, Rex. Is, is it nice if you don't talk to them? Uh, it can be taken either way. But, I mean, like, so say you come in and you're not really sure how to describe your haircut, the stylist, and you come to some decision that you're going to get your haircut like this, and you turn out you don't like it. How do you react? Are you actually, like, polite about it? I'm polite. Or uh, do you basically, you know, tell the stylist, like, you know, in a really rude way that you don't so like what she did to I your I have hair? this new stylist. Nice to the stylist I would totally be polite and then go to the local bar and bitch about it. Yep, um, that's me right do. there. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? I had this. I got. No, a hair, I love it. It's great. It's, it's I had good. this. I got this haircut pretty recently, and I, I've been going through a normal guy every, every, you know, every time I go, I try to book an appointment for him. But this time he wasn't available. But I needed to get a haircut, 
So I got uh, somebody that was just available. And this scrawny little uh, dude says he was doing it for six years. And he's real super skinny and effeminine, which is fine. But uh, he cut my hair really shitty. And uh, I had to keep telling him, hey, you know, bring this down a little more. Bring this down. At, you know, I've been getting haircuts my whole life. And I used to be really kind no. about it. And what? I could have yeah, could had long life? hair my whole life. But... <laughs> I could have been, I used to be so nice and like, oh, you know, I'll just take the haircut and I'll, you know, you just walk off. What can you do? But for me now, I'm like, no, fuck that, dude. It's your job to do this right. And that's true. This is a skill I am paying you for. And I, as the customer, need to be happy with it. It's got a point. And it's not like it's how you go about it. Again, if you're passive or you're aggressive, it really just depends on you personally. But you can be aggressive and not be an asshole. That is true. Now it sounds like I'm saying, hey, fuck face, you missed it over here. But instead, I'm like, hey, do you mind taking down a little more here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're paying them to do this. So, like, that's what you do. I mean, I've worked on people's houses where they come in, I don't quite like this. Or could you fix this? Well, okay, they're the customer. They're paying me to do this job, so I need to do this job to their liking. Yeah. So it's all the... If they came in and like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, man, I will fucking shit on your floor and leave. I don't even care. Hey, that's happened to me. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Roxanne, thank you for calling. We are out of time. We are ending this show. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been another episode of Emergency Exit. That's Roxanne, my sister on the other line. Bye. Bye. <laughs> If you guys like our content, please check us out. Uh, Give us a good rating on iTunes. Tell your friends. Do it. Leave a rating. Leave some comments. It It makes these boys tingle inside. I'm tingling thinking about it. And outside. (laughs) Barbicide. (laughs) Barble side. So crazy stuff we learned today. We learned about a cult, Heaven's Gate. We learned. We talked about some hate speech. What is hate speech? Sarah Jong, fucking Candace Owens. God, what a packed. Good show. Packed show today. If you guys have any ideas for shows, fuck off. We got it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, holler at us at emergency exit podcast at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at EMEX pod. Follow Nick Ryder at Ryder Guitar. Follow me at That's Right Low. So, Lisa, you have something, a uh, Twitter handle? Valley Marine 1983. There it is. So, for Coach. For Brandon the Hard Hat Mitchell, for Nick the Fashion Rider, I'm Lo Sayan. That's right. Stream is cut. They played this on Unbelievable. They did play a little bit of it. Yeah, are you trying to cut through? No cutsies. <laughs>